Hi, welcome today and every day to Kathleen's Place. Thanks for joining me here. We want this place to be a place of feeling safe to share your thoughts and expressions. Now, today's topic is haters gonna hate. Now, do I really think that the people that were writing on my comments right at this point have been haters? No, I, I don't feel that way. Uh, people that have that love God and have been through divorce, um, a lot of times can feel attacked. And I understand that because I used to be the one on your end, those that are the haters. Um, I know you're not haters, but, but um, I used to be on that end. In fact, I have a Facebook page that is called, um, or that is dedicated to helping ladies, basically, um, find a reason to stay in their marriage. Isn't that ironic? Yeah, it is, but hey. So I want to just say thank you, first of all, to those who have been advocating for me. I really appreciate you and love you. And I would like you to feel safe here. And I appreciate that um, those others who have your concerns about my divorce, well, okay, I can't even say divorce because we haven't, we're not at that place. We are separating to find out to see if we are going to continue moving forward. See what we can do to work things out. So, um, but I will touch on this anyhow. So just give me a second as I, um, so I'm just gonna list the concerns of some of the people on my video about separating uh, after 29 years of marriage. So the first one is why get married if you're going to divorce? Well, like I said, we haven't got to that place yet. We haven't decided that we are going to get divorced, but if we decide that, obviously it is not something small. Um, our plan getting married was never to get divorced. Now that that's never a, was going to be a factor in our relationship, but things unfortunately do happen. Oh, look, you can see my cup. Okay, so yeah, obviously we did not, that was not one of our considerations when we got married was to divorce. Um, our vows before God. You know, I was going to touch on this, but I'm going to wait to another video to touch on this one because it is very, very, um, how can I say? It needs its, its own video for this in full. It, it can't be just me just saying something small about it. Vows are very important. Uh, they, they are something that, that is a promise and it's a two way street. It's not just one person ma making the promise to the other. It goes both ways. So that's something that I will touch on more in depth in another video, not in this video. Okay. Another one is find your own place. Don't burden your kids or those are my words, but they basically are saying, leave your kids alone. Um, and one, more than one person has said that, and I totally get that 100%. Now with our family, uh, everything is a lot more complex because we run a family business and, and when money is sparse, we work together as a team to make sure we're all a able to move forward. And if we can't, well, then we have to do what we can to make things work. So, um, let me see if the hydration thing will work here. Oh yes, follow, sorry. Finding a place that is not in the home of my kids or my daughter and her son. I, I, like I said, I totally get that. Totally fair. 
But when it comes to the family business and everything, like I mentioned, um, my, my son-in-law is the project manager, helps with organizing finances and everything. And so my daughter and son-in-law, even though I told them I want to live on my own with my son, they, they said, no, please promise me that you will live with us at least for a little while until you're settled and on your feet and until finances and we figure all that kind of stuff out. Now, is this something that I need to share with you guys? No, but I know we're not the only one in this situation. At least I assume we're not the only one in this situation. Um, another concern was that God hates divorce. Now, I know, I know I've preached that many times. Um, my husband was a pastor. I preached, he preached, I get it, we get it, <laughs> and it's all good. No uh, hate on my side, on my part. Um, but when it comes to God hates divorce, that is another one that needs its own video, shall I say, because that is a huge topic. I know a lot of you, and I used to even, oh no, Divorce is wrong. Divorce is wrong. God hates divorce. That is what I said all the time. All the time. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not funny, but it... My, my husband and I, I guess I'll, I'll only speak for myself. Okay, I won't speak for him. I judged people. And I thought I didn't. Just like you folks who are trying to give your good advice, you're not trying to be judgmental, but it can be taken that way. And I, and I understand both sides because I have now been on both sides. When you're only on one side, you don't understand the other side. And you think, I mean, I mean, I even turned away from one of my friends because, well, I guess it wasn't because she divorced. It was because she cheated on her husband. So I still can't judge her for that even though I wouldn't, it, it, it's just not right. It's hateful and hurtful and whatever. If you don't love your husband, if you think he's abusive or whatever, leave and then find somebody else. Don't cheat. Um, anyhow, I just have my little rants. Um, but anyhow, all the points that you gave me, these folks gave me, they're valid. They're valid. Um, unfortunately, be before I made people, without trying, feel judged because they've been divorced. Some have been divorced more than once. So that, that is the, the, the thing, you know, God loves us each for our heart. I am not leaving to hurt my husband, but because I now love myself. So all I want you all to know, everyone here, it's a safe place to share comments that you feel are helpful. And please, those who are, are watching, it's not a place that we want to bring judgment. Um, no matter what you're going through, everything will be okay. And God is here for you. And God has not abandoned you, has not abandoned me. And if you feel superior, that you are above myself or anybody else, that's between you and God. Because I've been there and look where I am now. I've judged people, but then later I I have felt the ramin ramifications. <laughs> when you speak two languages and there's words that are similar, it's sometimes hard to get that word out. Anyhow, um, I speak Spanish. That's just like an extra little fact. 
I that's all I have for you today is is you're loved this is a safe place and all of those all of you who are giving your advice I understand like I said they're all valid points but as somebody has mentioned in the comments not everything is black and white a lot of us think it is but it's not so I will touch base on the two comments that were made one is what about your vows before god and just a reminder that's two-way street and the other one is god hates divorce yeah he does and so do i and everybody who has been through divorce they don't love it it's very painful but sometimes it's in inevitable so take care and just remember you're welcome today and every day at Kathleen's place. See you next time. Hi. Welcome today and every day to Kathleen's place. A place of safety and security to share one's thoughts. Okay.